Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos. Welcome everybody to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben yeah. here in Marfa, Texas. And we invite you to join us, amen, and be with us. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted, amen. So yeah. praise God, all of, you, all of you that are joining us by audio or video, just prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you, amen. Praise God. Los que nos estén escuchando por uh, audio o video, prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And I tell you this all the time, don't leave like you came. Yeah. Leave turns. Yeah. Amen. When you spend time with him on a daily basis, leave change. Yes. Don't be the same person. Amen. Hallelujah. I had a great encounter with God, and I'm going to leave change. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For the better. Yes. For the best. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Grab your swords, soldier of God. Yes. And church say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. Here it is. Yes. This is my Bible. Yes. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking with a God. I boldly confess, my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same. Amen. You can change, you can, you can use my spirit or my heart is receptive. I'm receiving it, amen. So praise God. And I already preached myself happy, so I hope you are ready to receive, amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read you my uh, scripture break. I have a scripture break that I put out every day, and it's goes with the lesson. And we're going to be talking about joy. Amen. <laughs> Some of us need to be joyful. He says the joy of the Lord is our yes. strength. Yes. How many of you need some strength on a daily basis? We all do. Amen. We all need it. Listen to this. Be joyful. Be cheerful. <laughs> he tells us in Psalms 118, 24, this is the day the Lord has made. I will. We will rejoice. Be joyful. And be glad in it. Amen. So circumstances, the weather, anything out there has nothing to do with it. What has to do with it is who is first in your heart. Who is first in your life. He is. He says, don't panic. Take a faith stand. Take a word stand. His word says he'll deliver you from every situation. You got situations? Take a stand. Amen. God wants us to be joyful, be cheerful, be happy, be rejoicing. So be of good cheer. Be joyful. It may take more determination than anything you've ever done before. <laughs> but God will give you the strength to do it. Amen. He'll give you the power to be joyful, to yeah. be cheerful in the middle of the ungodly things that the enemy is trying to bring against you. Yes. Amen. Amen. He says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. So these things he's trying to get on you says rejoice praise and give thanks to god for your deliverance yes. god will bring you through the storms <laughs> just yeah. fine yes. you are too blessed to be stressed amen, amen. Right. <laughs> you're too blessed to be stressed we got to know what the word of god says yes. to know that we are so blessed amen, amen. <laughs> and not to be stressed out and say oh man i'm so stressed out well <laughs> you need an encounter with him <laughs> Often. Amen. Amen. And it says this. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. If he is my strength, you know, I'm going to look to him. Amen. Lord, I need you on a daily basis. What did Jesus do when he needed his strength? He went out there. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go pray. Yeah. I'm going to go spend some time with the Father yeah. because I need some strength. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. When, you, when your car battery is down, you need to go get some cables and charge it up and uh, some power, amen? amen. Or you just take it to the, the, the charger and charge it back up. We have these spiritual batteries that we need to keep charged amen. up all the time, amen? amen. Because it's, they're going to be drained, amen? And you can't deal with the world, the spiritual battle, with these drained batteries. That's right. Because ain't nothing going to come out. Amen. But if you get the word in, charge yourself up, get these batteries all charged up so you know, hey, Anytime you need it, it's right there. Amen. It's going to come out. Yes. You got to get it out. Amen. You have authority over this defeated foe that's coming against you, but you got to get the word in you so you can give it back out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. I'm happy oh, already. <laughs> Jesus, the name of Jesus brings what? Brings joy, brings yeah. excitement, 
brings satisfaction, yeah. brings understanding, it brings unity to the body. Amen. Yeah. And it brings, it brought us, it brings salvation. Amen. This is Jesus, praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Don't tell me that. This is going to be our theme right here is the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. I'm not doing it on my own. He says he never leaves me nor forsakes me. He is with me all the time. But you know, he's given us the word to speak out. We're his ambassadors. And we're, we're to speak out his word. Joy is not just a happy feeling. <laughs> a lot of us use uh, uh, this word and we're real happy, you know, in the, in the, in the month of uh, Christmas when it, oh, the joy to the world, you know, everybody's so, so cheerful, you know, but we have to be <clears throat> cheerful at all times. Not yes. just joy is not just based on our circumstances no. or things we possessed. <laughs> Amen. Joy ranges from calm joy and just have peace and have calmness to extreme joy and yes. thrill and excited. You know, when yes. you have an encounter with him, oh, you're going to be so excited. Oh, and I've told yes. you this before. Sometimes it shows by you lifting your hands, mm -hmm. by you falling or dropping to your knees. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes it shows by you just running around the room. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> People don't know what's wrong with you. I had an encounter. I had a good encounter with Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Or, or, you know, you just crying. These are not tears of sadness. These are tears of joy. Yeah. Amen. And it's okay to get that way because you know what? When people see you all excited for Jesus, they want to know what is your problem? You know, there's nothing but sad news going on out there. There's nothing but bad news. Why are you so happy? Or why are you so, you run around? Why are you going through these things? You, because Jesus is the good news. Yeah, and he's the good news. And you're the good news going somewhere to happen yeah. for somebody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So see yourself that way. Amen. <laughs> They're full of bad news. You're full of good news. Yeah. And bring it to them. Amen. And you know what? They might try to be, just be macho and say, you know, hey, I don't want to hear this stuff. Uh, but you know what? You're sowing seeds just yeah. by them watching you. Amen. Just watching you and be an imitator of him. They're watching and they know something different about you. Yes. They don't want to say anything, but that seed was sown. And you know when the seed is sown, mm -hmm. and then God sees to it that it's water, it's water. And when you water a seed, it's going to do what? It's going to grow. <laughs> Amen. You may never see that salvation, but it's going to come. It's going to Amen. come. Praise God. Amen. Ah, let me see which was first. Enjoy the Lord. Says that. Keep going. Hebrews 12, 2. Let me read it from here. It says, let us fix our eyes on who? Jesus. Always look into Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. You know, a lot of us, when it's football season, we got our eyes fixed on the TV. <laughs> we got our eyes fixed on somebody, you know. But it says, fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher. Yeah. Author and protect. Uh -huh. Well, let me read it from here. Lord, bless him, Lord. Touch him. Just whatever the situation is, Lord. Author and perfecter of our faith. Who for the joy set before him endured the cross. Now Jesus, when he stepped out of heaven, <laughs> him and the Father had already had a talk and say, Sir, I'm going to send you to earth and I'm going to have to sacrifice you. And Jesus says, okay. <laughs> he willfully came. He knew what was set before him. The joy set before him. He knew before he came that he was going to be crucified. Amen? Mm -hmm. So you prepare yourselves wherever you go, knowing that you're a child of God. And there's going to be uh, battles. There's going to be wrestling going on. There's going to be things going on. But you know that you've already I've made up my mind. Yeah. Amen? And I'm just going to do it on him. And I'm going to be joyful in doing what is coming. He says, endure the cross scoring its shame mm -hmm. and set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Mm -hmm. He knew. You know, there's no higher place of authority. Yeah. There's no higher place of honor than the right hand of God. Yeah. And that's where Jesus went. That's right. Amen. Yeah. And guess what? He's doing that. He's there interceding for us. Yeah. Praying for us. Yeah. So you know you're not by yourself. That's He's right. there pulling for you. He said, yes. I've called you, I've approved you, yeah. and I'm yeah. sending you on this mission to fulfill this mission, not to fail this mission, but we need to get ourselves in a joyful mood and press on and yes. do what God has called us to do. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me read it from this. This is from the 
English Standard Version. Looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, uh -huh. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, yes. despising the shame. Yes. <clears throat> and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you all, a lot of us see the Hollywood way of crucifying oh. Christ, you know, and that was nice. There was a big crowd there, mm -hmm. including his mother mm -hmm. and his disciples. And he was stripped naked and beaten and put the shame, all the shame that could be put on him. And he took that for us and people watching. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he joyfully did it for us. Amen. Yeah. He joyfully did it for us. So praise God. Philippians 4, 4 and 4. Look, keep going. Here we go. Philippians 4, 4. It says, what? Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. When you're happy, when you're sad. Always. It says, always. Again, I say, rejoice. Yeah. To be joyful. You know, this is something he's given us. And it's the fruit of the Spirit also. We're going to get there in a few minutes. But we're to rejoice in him. You know, when you have the victory in you, when you have the greater one in you, yes. <laughs> you're not going to be sad. That's right. Okay? You're not going to accept defeat. You're going to be rejoicing. It says Every day he says rejoice. This is the day I've given you. This is a day to rejoice because I am with you. Mm -hmm. He says I never leave you nor forsake you. Right. Amen? The NLV says this, be full of joy always mm -hmm. because you belong to the Lord. Again, I say be full of joy. Why am I going to be joyful? Because I belong to him. <laughs> He's your father. He's your heavenly father. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Yes. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. It says, be joy always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Mm -hmm. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Always again. Be joyful. Amen. Yeah. There's too much sadness going on. Right. Right. And you can see it in people's faces. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it in people's faces, you know. So bring a smile sometimes. You know, it helps. Mm -hmm. And when they ask you why you're smiling, then you tell them, you know. Because the greater one is in me. Because Jesus. Because I love Jesus. Uh -huh. And he's my Lord and Savior. And you can have that same joyfulness. You can have that same happiness if you have Jesus. If you have Jesus in your heart. You know, so it's never too late. We can have it. Praise God. Yeah. Keep going. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Mm -hmm. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, mm -hmm. and self-control. Against such there is no law. No law. Galatians 5, 22, 23. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Praise Lord. God. These seeds are in us. This is in us. We have to, as you grow in the things of God, we water them and they grow in us. Amen. Some of these may not be totally developed in us, <laughs> but we need to get there at some point, you know, by maturing in the, in the Word of God. Last Wednesday, we had a good Bible study and we talked about this. You know? We need to uh, uh, grow and mature in him. Amen. How do you do that? Well, you open your Bible <laughs> and you, op you open your Bible and you read it and you yeah. study it. Study to show yourself the proof. Yeah. Say, well, God never talks to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when was the last time you opened your Bible? Or have you ever opened your Bible? Oh. You need to open it up. He wants to visit with you. Yeah. He says he's knocking and he wants to come in, yeah. but you ain't answering the door. <laughs> <laughs> you got to open up. Yeah. Amen. You got to open up so he can yeah. spend time with you. Amen. Praise God. You know, the only time we want to visit with him is when we need something. We do that, you know, like, like, like the spare tire, you know. We only pull him out in case of emergencies. You know, we have emergencies, and we take him out and say, oh, there you are. Well, he's there all the time. All the time. Amen. He's there all the time for us. Hallelujah. We may not finish this, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. No. <laughs> we'll take it. Listen to this. Joy is God's gift to us. Yes, it is. But some of us have never opened the package. No oh, boy. And he's still waiting for us to open it. Joy is a gift that he's given us. 
is the fruit of the Spirit He's given us. But some of us have never opened this package. Amen. God put us on a special mission for us to take our gifts, take, take our talents to be a blessing for somebody. Yeah. And we decided to just sit on our como se llama and do nothing about it. How would you like right. someday to stand before him and say, <clears throat> and him ask you, uh, what did you do with the gifts I gave you? Mm -hmm. He said, well, <laughs> I just kept them to myself. He don't want us to do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants, he says, give and it shall be given unto you. Yeah. We're the give of ourselves. Amen. When you give of yourself, right. Right. more is given back to you. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. I got gospel bumps all over me. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Keep going. Here we go. It says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. Yes, it is. <laughs> Maybe that's why you haven't been feeling so good. Because you got to get rid of that frown. Got to get rid of that sadness. Amen. Got to get rid of all that unhappiness. Yeah. Give it to him. He says, what? Cast all those things on me. Yes. Amen. Give them to me. Because uh -huh. I care for you. Because I love you. Give it to me. Yeah. Why are you trying to carry all these things? He says, to give to him. Amen. Uh -huh. He says, Amen. a cheerful heart is good medicine. Yes. Let me see how I have it written. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. This is from the exhibition for the extended Bible. It says, a happy, joyful heart is good medicine. Brings healing. A broken spirit, depression, sadness, drains your strength. It drives the bones. Oh, yeah. Amen. So guess what? <laughs> You see that upside down smile. <laughs> you know, some of us, if we ever smile, we might crack our face. <laughs> Don't want our face to fall off, you know. But we need to practice smiling more, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about me. <laughs> some of you look so much prettier and more handsome with a smile on your face. The sadness, you know, when you, when you look sad. And you look mean, uh, people stay away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you crack a smile, you know, people want to come by and see <laughs> why are you smiling. <laughs> John 3 16 says, For God so loved, yes. he was so full of joy through the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Why did God send Jesus? Uh. He loved us so much. Amen. He wanted us back. He lost. He won this back. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Let me see. Go, go to the next one. Okay. We'll, we'll get there in a few minutes. <clears throat> we already went through Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. You know, you can write it down uh, on, on your mirror while you dress, while, you, while you're cleaning yourself, washing yourself, so you can see it. You can put it on the door before you walk out so that you can know I need to rejoice and be glad in this day. Why? Because he, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen? Yeah. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who's with me than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen? So praise God. Well now, listen to this. Most Christians, believers, spend most of their time talking about Christians. Defeated, oh, beaten, overpowered, overcome, overwhelmed, and crushed. Yeah. That's just the first one. Mm. Two says uptight, tense, anxious. Oh, Three says upset, mm -hmm. sad, troubled. Mm. Four, overstressed, burdened, overloaded, overstretched, and overstrained. Discouraged, downcast, depressed, dejected, disheartened, hopeless. We're talking about Christians. Okay? All because the joy and happiness is based entirely on circumstances. Wrong job, wrong career, wrong relationship, mm. wrong friends, or wrong habits. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. We got to fall in love with our God. Amen. When you fall in love with your God, yeah. you're going to say the right things. I told you this many mm. times. I asked the Lord to uh, help me take these enemies away from me. And guess what? <laughs> I started losing friends. <laughs> if he takes people away from you, don't run and get them back. No, that's right. Okay? You got to be careful. Or well, whatever he takes from you, don't go back to it. Mm. Leave it. You take yeah. your trash to the dumpster, 
You need it there. You never run back and get it. Say, okay, I miss it. I want it back. You know, he's cleaning up our lives. You know, yes. hey, he's got permission to correct us, to clean us any way that, that he can. Yes. Amen. First Peter 5, 7 says this. Give all worries yes. to him. Cast all your anxieties on him. Why? Because yes. he cares about you. Yes. And Psalms 55, 22 uh -huh. in the extended Bible says this. Give, cast, throw. You know, cast is not just uh, <laughs> lay it down. It says cast it. You know, just like you cast demons out. Amen. You cast them out. I mean, you throw off. them, you know. <laughs> you cast them out. It says give, cast them. Your worries, burdens. To the Lord, and He will uh, take care of and sustain you. He will yes. never let good, righteous people down. That's right. Amen. 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 He never let us down. If we're down, it's because <laughs> we need to make connection. Mm -hmm. We need to connect yes. to the source. Amen. Amen. Don't lose your joy if you're able. If excuse me, don't lose your joy if you are able to cast those things on Him. He told us what to do, yes, he did. but we are not giving it, and uh -huh. we're not casting it on him. Mm. He says, you can get rid of these things. Just give them to me because I care for you. I love you. And I, I didn't make you to carry these extra cares on you. Right. I didn't make you to carry these extra weights on you. Yeah. You're on a mission, and you don't need these things on you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Don't allow your joy to go. You know what? You have a choice. Don't blame God if you're not doing what he's told you to do. You still yeah. carry the things I told you to care, uh, to give me, give to me. So it's your choice. You choose. All these things, distractions will dis discharge your spiritual batteries. Mm -hmm. Your joyful batteries are dead. Mm -hmm. We must keep our spiritual batteries charged because we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Yes, we do. Amen. You know, if your spiritual batteries are not charged, and you're trying to fight the enemy in the flesh, you're losing all in. Mm -hmm. You're no match to the enemy in the flesh. Yeah. You right. got to keep those spiritual batteries. You got to keep the word of God fresh right. in you so that you can use the word of God. And that's the only thing that defeated the enemy. Yes. The word of God. He's already defeated the enemy. He's a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. Now we have to take authority and remind him because he forgets. He's loco. He's mm -hmm. You don't remember. <laughs> Once again, you can write this down. We're too blessed to be stressed. Yes. Amen. For sure. You can be stressed out if you want to, but not because God wants you that way. No. Uh -uh. Because He's already given us a way yeah. out. Yeah. But we're still being overstressed. And listen to this. Ephesians 6 12 says in the extended Bible. For our fight, our conflict, our struggle is yeah. not against people or the earth. And who do we try to fight all the time? Uh -huh. We try to fight people. Yeah. And you know what? The enemy's happy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> because yeah. you're fighting the wrong person. You're fighting the wrong foe. That's it. It's not against people on earth, flesh and blood, but against the rulers and the authorities and powers of darkness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Powers, rulers of darkness, mm -hmm. of this uh, world's darkness. Mm -hmm against uh, the spiritual uh, powers of evil in the heavenly yes. realms. Mm -hmm. Amen? So <laughs> there's realms. They're, they're, these these guys are, are united and they're coming yeah. against you. So you need to be united with your God. That's right. And we need to be a body of Christ united yeah. one another yeah. so that yeah. we're coming yeah. against the enemy. That's right. Amen? But we spend more time fighting each other than oh, we boy. spend time in mm -hmm. unity doing the Lord's work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People get happy and joyful when, when things are going their way. Mm. When they have uh, <clears throat> lots of money in the bank. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> At the end of the week when it's Friday, they always say, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> they never thank God for Monday through Thursday, <laughs> but they always thank God for Friday. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank God it's Friday. Oh, so I can have the weekend off. Don't worry about going to church on Sunday. <laughs> they like holidays, time off, vacation times. But it's not over circumstances. 
Yeah. Amen. Praise God. These things account for a small part of our lives. Again, yeah. most people, including Christians, spend most of their time defeated, upside, upset, oh, overstressed, God. and discouraged. Mm -hmm. That is sad. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We need to take ourselves from that and put ourselves in the victory. Yes. And, amen. There's a victory in Jesus. Amen. We need to be victorious amen. in him. Amen. When the enemy tries to come against you, you say, wait a minute. You're talking to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Get behind me. That's or right. get under my feet where you belong. Amen. Okay. Jesus already defeated you, and you ain't go, you, you're no match to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. These Goliaths, these giants come against you on a daily basis. Amen. When you go out. If you go out without spending time with him, these giants will eat you up quick. As we grow spiritually in our relationship with, with God, it grows. We grow in his word, and it will set us free from these distractions, from these bondages, from our yes. sin. Yes. Amen. Like I said, uh, Wednesday Bible study was, was good. If you haven't come, come on Wednesdays at 7. We're maturing in the things of God. If you're not maturing, if you're still in first base, you ain't going to get around third base and score <laughs> without maturing. You need to mature. You need to grow in the things of God. You know? The reason you're still defeated is because you haven't grown. And that's not God's fault. It's our fault. To study to show yourself approved. We need to mature in the things of God. You know, <laughs> I guarantee you, babies grow. They little, <laughs> but they grow. And we need to do the same thing in the spirit. Yeah. We need to grow in the things of God. Yeah. You got born again, but now it's time to grow in the word. Amen? Because God has assignments for us, and we need to be ready for those things. Yes. And if we never grow in the things of God, mm -hmm. we're never going to be ready. That's so right. one day you're going to stand in front of him and say, you never grew up in, the, in, in what I gave you to do. Well, how come you didn't use the gifts? Well, I never knew. Well, you never spent time with me. Mm -hmm. You never found out what I called you to be. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, we're not going to be, don't be a defeated Christian, amen. Oh, we are free from this world and the yeah. negative mindsets and traditions. Amen. <laughs> you know, the world tries to mold you and shape you the way they want you to be. Oh, yeah. Amen, but you got to know, <laughs> that's not me, that's not what God's called me to be. That's right. Amen. They want you to copy, copy, and be what they want you to be. Mm. Amen. He made you to, he, well, I don't want to get too home, so too far ahead of here, but... <laughs> So magnify him, not the problems or the uh -huh. world. Amen. But we magnify the problems or we magnify things more than we magnify our God. Mm -hmm. Priorities need to change. Yes. He should be our first priority. Matthew 6, 33. Yes. Amen. Seek him first. Yes. And know that you can do all things through him. Right. We are joyful even if things are not going our way. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I say, hey, you know, I got peace because I know. We win. <laughs> Praise God. I have the victory. Hallelujah. We are joyful instead of weary. Yes, thank you, Lord. Praise God. God's word says that we can live a life with joy. Amen. That's right. We must do it. Just do it. Amen. I don't care who says what. People say, well, you know, you got to be sad because of this. Or this try to give you all this all, all this sadness. And what's going all the sadness going on in the world? But we gotta have peace. And we gotta have him yes. in order to go finish and accomplish what he's called us to be. Yeah, yeah. How can we be good good news to the to, to the world if we're spending all our time in sadness mm -hmm. and defeated? We we never we'll, we'll never accomplish our mission. That's right. Whatever your mission is, you can fulfill. It says you can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens yes. you. Amen. Thank but you, you gotta know these things. And the enemy's going to see to it. He's going to keep you super busy. Even as Christians, we can stay super busy oh, yes. and not spend time with him. Joy is the result of knowing who you are and whose you are. Amen. 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 Who you are in him and whose you are. Mm -hmm. When you know those things, you're going to keep your joy. You're going to keep yes. your peace. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Be led by the Spirit. Yes. Keep your joy by knowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you uh -huh. in the way we should go. Turn your Bibles to, uh, we're going to read a couple of scriptures. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, very known script, very well known scripture that we use all the time. Proverbs chapter 3, and verses 
Five and six. And whatever translation you have, just, I'm going to read it to you from the King James. Are you there? Mine says, Proverbs chapter 3, verse uh, 5, Trust in the Lord with what? All, All thy heart, heart, and lean not to your own understanding. 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Amen. If you need to know where you need to go, where you need to be, just trust the Holy Spirit to be there and to guide you. Amen. So we need to do this. If you don't know that, it's, it's time. It's time that you do. Let me see. And the Amplified says, Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And mind, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. That's right. Verse six says, "In all your ways acknowledge, excuse yes. me, in all your ways know, recognize, and acknowledge Him, and He will direct and make straight and plain your path." Amen. And you know, I don't understand, or uh, I'm confused about something. He says He'll make your way. He'll yes. make you understand. He'll have you make it plain, so plain yes. that you can read it. Amen. Now I'll turn uh, to uh, just down a, a few uh, uh, chapter sixteen and verse nine. Chapter sixteen, Proverbs sixteen, uh, verse nine. You there? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it says, "Mine says, King James." A man's heart devises his ways, but the Lord directs the steps. Amen. The steps of a good man, of a righteous man, a righteous person, are ordered by, by the Lord, by God. Amen. So guess what? You know where you're going. I'm on my way to heaven, shouting victory. <laughs> Amen. So if you're not shouting victory, we need, we need, we need, we need to get the joy back in you. Amen. <laughs> you got to get that joy back in you. The joy, that joy, that's your strength that you need on a daily basis. Amen. So praise God. Proverbs 69, uh, the easy to read version says, people can plan what they want to do, but it is the Lord who guides and directs their steps. I, I want the Lord to direct and guide my steps. Amen. So many people complain about their boring lives. <laughs> They need to check their priorities. Okay? You need to check your priorities. Who's first? Who who's on the throne? You gotta get off the throne and put Jesus back on the throne. Amen. That's the first step you need to do. <laughs> check my priorities. Amen. You go back. The problem is not in heaven. The problem is not with God. Okay? The problem is not Jesus. Uh, we need to check ourselves. We're the problem, okay? So we need the correction needs to come right here. <laughs> they lost their love for God. Yeah. And you know when you lost your, your love for God and you lost your relationship with Him, mm. you start walking in the flesh. Mm. Amen. Remember, we feed our spirit. We're trying to in your spirit, we have a soul, mind, will, emotions, and we have a body. Yeah. So our spirit will feed the word of God. Yeah. The mind we renew with the word of God mm. because that's a spiritual battle all the time. All the time. Okay, in our flesh we got to crucify. Yeah, amen. Yeah. And uh, if you're not feeding those things, mm. if you're not feeding yourself the word and having a relationship and renewing your mind, mm. then you're in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So guess what? When you're in the flesh, you're going to talk like the world. Yeah. And it says the enemy, be careful. Because the enemy, he goes around seeking who he may devour. Oh, as, <laughs> as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. See, so guess what? Well, how does he know who to attack? Oh, yeah. By the words <laughs> coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? So if you ain't speaking faith-filled words, <laughs> you're speaking negative words. Yes. And the enemy's listening yeah. and opening the door for the enemy to yeah. come in. So we got to get those priorities oh. right. We open the door for the enemy and whatever other things. Yeah. So get back in relationship with God. Amen. Life is not boring, especially if your priorities are right. right. Amen. Right. How 
can you be bored when the greater one is in you? Right. You got to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in love with him, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what the situation is. Life is not born if we live by his, by his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. You will lose your joy mm -hmm. if you're not willing to get out of your boat, get out of your box, your comfort zone, and be led by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to take steps of faith. You know, when you follow the word, <laughs> you're going to take steps of faith and move and go where God wants you to be. Amen. But as long as you're just standing still and going nowhere and afraid, nothing's going to happen. But you're defeated already. Amen. You are defeated, but you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to get out of your boat. Everything has come out of that closet except Christians. <laughs> you know, we're Christians when we assemble ourselves together. And when we go out in the public, we're afraid to talk about God. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, others are bold enough to say what they are. I'm going to be bold enough to say, I'm a child of God. Yes. Yes. I'm a child of God. Amen. Yes. I don't, it doesn't matter who it hurts. <laughs> if you don't want to hear it, then go away. Yeah. Move. <laughs> but that seed is going to be sown. Amen. Yeah. Simplify your life. Don't try to do too much. Uncomplicate your life. Mm. If you're trying to do too much <laughs> to please people, you're going to drop dead and they're never going to be happy for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't please them. You'll never please him. Satan complicates your life. Mm -hmm. So what he's supposed to do, he comes to steal, kill, destroy. Keeps us so busy to enjoy all of God, all that God has given us. Look at Mary and Martha's story. Mm -hmm. okay? Mary came and spent time with the master. We need to spend time with him first before we go and get ourselves so busy. Martha says, don't you care? Mm -hmm. Jesus says you got to get your priorities right. Yeah. Mary did the first thing right. Yeah. We need to worship him first, spend time with him first before we do anything else. Uh -huh. Martha was so busy. <laughs> and as Christians, we need to know, did God, is, does God wants me to do this? Okay? Not overdo ourselves. Enjoy your relationship with him. Enjoy time with family and friends. Take time to laugh and crack a smile. Some of us yeah. really need to smile. <laughs> <laughs> some people, you're going to surprise some people if you ever see you smile. Right? <laughs> Take time to enjoy life. Amen. We're not to be boring. We're not to be boring. It's not boring life. Amen. <laughs> I think we're going to stop here. Amen. Glory, glory. The Lord is my strength and my shield. I trust Him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Yes. Psalms 28, 7. Amen. Look at that Hallelujah. snow sky. Praise God. Skiing again. Yeah. <laughs> next week. Go to the next one. Go Here we go. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 15, uh, 13. A joyful heart makes a cheerful face. Yes. But when the heart is sad, the spirit is broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my God. Let's see. What's that in here? In the NIV. It says, <coughs> A happy heart makes a face cheerful, uh -huh. joyful, but heartaches crushes the spirit. Yeah. Amen. Be ruled by the spirit, not the flesh. Amen. Right. Amen. In, the, in Galatians, uh, it talks about the spirit and the flesh uh -huh. fighting each other on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. All the time, all the time, all the time, amen? So guess what? Wherever you feed the most, it's gonna rule. Yes. Wherever you feed the most, it's gonna dominate. Mm -hmm. So we gotta feed our spirit, man, because your yeah. flesh is gonna, you just say, well, you know, oh, we don't have to go today. <laughs> we don't have to do this today. <laughs> we need it another time, you oh, know? No. And when God is calling, oh, no. say, well, not today, Lord. Ah. You know, I'm, I'm so tired, I'm so busy. Oh. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you uh -huh. face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Yes. James 1, chapter 1, verses 2 yes. and 3. 
face. Consider it pure joy, brothers and sisters, yes. whenever you face trials. Trials, tribulations, they're going to come. Amen. Amen. But you have the victory in you. Yes. <laughs> you have the greater one in Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Yes. So know these things and exercise these things. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too far ahead, but Praise just God. know, church, the joy of the Lord is our strength. strength. Amen. So praise God. And sometimes, you know, we need to call somebody, let somebody know, and we, we, we got to let it out Amen. for people to see. Uh -huh. You're smiling all the time. How come? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And he strengthens me every day to go where I need to be, what, what I need to say, what I need to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. We're going to stop there. Hallelujah. 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 So church, you have the victory. The greater one is in you, amen? Amen.